Welcome to another video making song bringer. I'm uh, working on some bugs today. Um, the half of the major updates out, so now I'm working on uh, fixing up some bugs and working on the soundtrack in general. So uh, let's start off with this one right here. Make this. Uh, there's this cool new trick to get the shirt, and uh, I'm gonna make it so it's not. It doesn't. There's one little issue, so you'll see what I mean. Okay, so we need to be at here. Should not have the shirt. And let's go put in this code that we want to look at. There it is. Okay. All right, so if I walk in here, third time out, spawns the shirt. Okay, now what I want to do is make it so if you go into another cave, it'll reset that count. So there's one. There's two. Now if I go here. out should have reset but it didn't okay easy enough so let's make this So if we're exiting the cave and we're exiting to the home screen, then we increase this count. Otherwise, we reset the count. 
And let's go ahead and show it on the screen so we just get a real clear indication of what's going on. What's up, Red Sands? Cool, man. Have a good day yourself. Thanks for saying. Thanks for saying that. I appreciate the encouragement. All right, so we've just programmed up this little new thing where it'll reset the count if you go into a different cave. Let's make sure it works. Turticus, what's up, man? Where am I at? I'm, I'm currently in Thailand. I'm living here for a few months. How you doing, Turticus? Okay, we got a count of two. So if I were to go out one more time, it'll spawn it. Let's just make sure it spawns. Three, boom. Okay, let's do that again. This time we'll use a different cave. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I just reset the chat. Okay, let's go in the cave. We got a count of one. Got a count of two. Let's go in a different cave. I'm gonna save it. I don't have to do that again. You're good? Cool, man. I'm great, too. Life's good. Alright, whoops. Save it here. Alright, so let's do that again. Go in this cave a couple times. We got a count of two. Go in a different cave. Count of zero. Nice. Starts over, so now we're at one, two, three. Cool. So if I save it with the shirt, do it again. I don't even think it should count because we already have the shirt. Good. We already have the shirt, so it's not even doing its count thing. Okay, there we go. That's done. Let's do a little code review. Make sure that's still um, still looks right. Always helps to do a code review in like a different sort of editor. I'm using diff right here, which has different coloring here in my Vim versus my Vim. So anyways, this different coloring helps me to see the code differently. And um, I don't know, it always helps me to do a code review that way. All right, so new area pause.z is zero and we don't have the shirt. So if we're going, if we're, if we're going upstairs, to the overworld, you don't have the shirt. We get the count, and if we're going to 
If the destination is the home screen, then we increase the count. Otherwise, we reset the count, set it. If it ever reaches three, we spawn the shirt. It looks great. Okay, let's do this next one here on this list. Setting fire to the Swordless 2 puzzle causes the shield pillar to die. Let's get to that position so we can see what the heck that's talking about. This is Dungeon 5 in this world. Don't need the shirt. We've already got the lighter. We don't have the shield, so we don't have to get it. Oh man, we, don't, we might not even need the shield, actually. Oh, we can start here. What's up with that? That's weird. It's what? Super weird. Never seen that. What? Uh huh. Well. It's always fun when your bug has another bug. What could possibly be doing that? Oh, do I have the ring? No. Hmm. Oh, it still, it still kills it. Okay, so I can solve this bug <laughs> without having to... figure that out, but that, this is, both of these have to be solved, whatever the heck's going on here. Okay, so the problem there is that I light this pillar on fire and the shield pillar dies. Somehow. So, we need Xcode debug this. I'll set a breakpoint when the shield pillar lowers itself, which I'm guessing I can find that in collision system. Hmm, simple way to see if that's it is to just run it without that code. Faster than debugging, actually. Compiling only takes like a... Compiling and linking takes there like what... It actually took nine seconds, but to set up a breakpoint and all that would take longer. Okay, so we don't need... Just need to set that on fire. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's the shield pillar, not the fire pillar. 
uh, Okay, I'm not sure what. It's gotta be this one. Activate zero HP. There it is, shield tower. All right. Pretty sure this should have an activate zero HP. Okay, it removes its components. Okay, this isn't the function that I'm look need to be looking for. It's distribute damage. Oh, it's that's right. It has to. Oh, it only takes. Oh, that's right. The shield tower only takes damage from a certain kind of entity. It has instant recharge, store HP, activate shot neutral. That's what it is. Shot neutral. Oh, okay, so the entity, the lighter entity, has category lighter and fire. So what entity is hurting it that would have neutral? We're ticking the collision system. This is the entity. Uh, 
Oh, it's a smart fire entity. That's shot foe. This one's also shot foe. Oh, it probably would be easier to see what is actually activating. It would be health.activate. What's that? What's the name of that? Activate mask. There it is. Do activate. There it is. Change HP. If Eta Health activate mask. Yep. And has bits. Change your closing category. And has instant recharge. Do activate. Okay, what is causing this? Good, we are indeed activating the shield tower. But what is, who is the changer? Fire smart again. So the changer collision category has got to have shot neutral then. When do we create fire smart? Here it is, create fire. Aha. Create fire can pass in whatever category it wants. Why would it pass in shot neutral? Oh. Gotta stand up. my little alarm to stand every half hour.
So why is this fire getting created with the neutral category? That's creating with none. It must be here. Oh, here. Okay, who is creating this change, this uh, fire? I don't know. Hmm. Huh. I'm trying to think of this problem from different angles. Um, how does it do that activate mask again? Uh, it only has bits.
I think the simplest way to do this is to add a variable to because if I go and mess with this and I take away shot neutral for example from everything that's gonna affect the whole game but if I just do this simple thing where I change the health component so it has as an activate mask and it also has a no activate mask there it'll parse out this no activate mask and then health system oh that was let me do that So we got a no activate fire. So if we have the activate mask and we do not have the no activate mask. So what was that? What if that's zero? Data and mask equals zero. Zero. Yeah, anything and zero is always going to be zero. Right? Yeah. Need a health and no activate mask. Change inclusion category. Has in bits. Okay, we should be ready to go. Didn't work. Let's start confirming. No activate mask.
Okay, we are creating the shield tower. It's no activate mask. It's got that fire bit. Now it works, maybe it didn't compile. Hate it when stuff like that happens. Pretty sure it just didn't compile. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's good. Um What the hell? <laughs> Wouldn't close. Um Okay, now I need to confirm that everything is still good as it was. I mean, everything that should activate does indeed activate. So I'm going to go ahead and check. Um, everything that has an activate, acid pillar, bomb will pillar, chests, uh, ghost pillars, ice pillars, all these have activates. Oh, but there, this one has bomb or super bomb. Okay, I did do this right. I was considering changing the activate to be a has all bits instead of just has bits and then I could do away with not having the snow activate but since bombo pillar can be activated by bombs or super bombs we need to have to do it this way with the no activate mask as well okay so I need to confirm that some of these are working but let's first confirm that Uh, 
Um, once we get the shield, then this regular activate still works. Cool, just activated that one. Cool. Make sure this is all looking good. We, got, we only added the no activate to the shield tower, otherwise it starts at zero. We load the no activate mask, and to activate we have to have the activate mask and not have the no activate mask. All right, now let's test out the acid pillar. Activates via poison. Do I have any poison? Let's give it the poison top hat. Spider try and light these on fire, nothing happens. Send off some bombs. Okay, now I got a poison top hat, so if I throw it, cool, it activates those. Nice. Okay, that's confirmed. Let's confirm maybe one or two more of these. Bombable pillars, that's a good one to confirm. We can do that in dungeon one. Should also make sure that the super bomb can close those.
good. We confirm a few more. That's just a sound effect. The ghost pillar. Ghost pillar. Um, where are those? Oh, it's in dungeon two. In this world. Hmm, let's first confirm that we can't close these. Alright, cool. Alright, good. Everything's working. Do I really want to try the ice pillar? I think it's an ice pillar. Ice pillar? I don't even remember what those things are. I don't think they, oh, I think I didn't use those. Oh, the bike crash. Let's check those. Cool. It's always good to confirm everything when you make changes like this. You don't want to break the whole game just because it's something simple. Okay, good. That's all confirmed. One last code review. We added the no activate fire to the shield tower. We added the no activate mask, which defaults to zero so it doesn't do anything. It's loaded. And it's used there in the health system to decide whether it's going to activate. It doesn't activate if it has the activate mask. Otherwise, it's exactly the same code. Good. Let's do this one. Hopefully this is a nice easy one. World Seed. One, two, three, four, five. Legacy Ha. Five, one, zero. Five, one, zero. 
We should not have the top at. This is the drop mini boss. Okay, so apparently there's somewhere on this screen that this drop mini boss cannot move to within range. So he looks like an idiot. I'll have to start on the next screen over. Oh, what? He, he is totally just throwing this thing way too soon. So the drop two has this if target near 90. And the drop mini boss does not. This should be solved already. Okay, I gotta stand up again. It's been another half an hour. Can you believe it?
Oh yeah, what's up people? What's up virtual exist? And Brock? <laughs> I didn't forget. Okay, I admit, I forgot. No, I'm joking. I just have this little timer on my phone, so I stand up every half an hour. All right, let's set another timer. We got about 20 more minutes in this stream. All right, so I was in the process of fixing some bugs. One of them was that the dropped mini boss did not move to within range to throw his damn horn orang. Let's make sure he moves into within range now. We added with one little line if target's near 90. What's up with that? That's weird. So weird. Oh, I forgot I didn't fix this other bug. Okay, so now if I stand somewhere, I don't know. Right? Okay, so he's over there. Yeah, he used to just freaking throw his horn rank all the time. Now he should move to within range. There we go. Yeah. He's going for Jib. Watch out, Jib! Okay, cool. That was a super easy fix.
Okay, I just remembered this other bug I didn't fix, which is pretty important. Well, let's find out if it was a bug, actually. It's right here. Legacy Wizard 235. Started this place. One of these fire pillars is already lowered. The key pillar. It's like it should not be lowered. Hey, what the hell's going on here? Okay, we're at 235. Maybe it's because I've been to three, three, five, oops. Or, two, four, five. Or one, three, five. Let's get rid of this one too. Didn't I check that? Four, three, five? Nah. Okay. If it's that, then we know. Oh, it's not that, huh? Let's confirm this the old school way. We're not even start with any positions. No, it's, it's like, oh, you don't even have a save file. Yeah, it still does it, damn. Super weird. Okay, so it has nothing to do with the positions. Why is it doing this? Start off at the beginning. Okay, we gotta start from the beginning. The shield tower, and when you create the shield tower, we need Xcode again. Damn it. This thing slows stuff down so much. Offset puzzle element. What? Why doesn't it have its. Oh no, it's not the shield tower, it's the. Uh, Fire pillar. Hmm, maybe one of them is a permanent pillar.
Yeah, 610 is... Seven ten is, eight ten is. Uh, are all of these permanent? Oh, I didn't pay attention to the last one. Damn it! Sixteen. Permanent. 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 That's the one. Ten seven is not permanent. Okay, maybe I introduced some kind of bug here. So if we go uh, this is in area patterns. Um, pattern shield, pattern puzzle, puzzle shield. Ah. I think this is the shield two pattern. Something's up. It's not storing. It's it's storing its hit points, but somehow it's, it's it thinks it's it if it, it thinks its hit points are already gone. So that's in store. Set tile, set data. Um, I think it's in health component. Set data with pause. If it has store hit points. Data. I haven't done anything to the screen yet. Oh, what screen am I even on?
that's data. It's 1084, it's about the middle of the screen. Up, yeah, that's where it's gonna be at. How can it's data already be one? Okay, that's that's crazy. Blocks said data maybe. Let's figure out what the heck is setting data. There should be no data at this point. Nothing has changed. This is a brand new, fresh world. What the hell is going on? Storing tile data. Why? Oh, it's a gate tile. I, I knew it had something to do with you've been to the exit test. Oh, it's the area below. <sighs> okay. I knew it had something to do with this. Two, three, five. It's two, two, five. What? It's never supposed to restore. What? Is it? It's a gate. I mean, the only way it would be tr triggering it is there. It's nine fourteen. Oh, this is some other area.
Okay, it's not what we were looking for. Oh, what? What? There it is. Okay, it's setting the data from restore tile data, but we didn't. Oh, it's so weird. Oh, restore puzzles. For what item? Oh, we already have this friggin' item. Oh man, all that debugging for nothing. Cause I already had the damn switch. feeling that was something like something obvious that was a waste of 20 minutes I tried to search for that obvious thing at the beginning but just didn't didn't see it happens a lot when I'm trying to fix bugs be like whoops that's a bug but it's not actually a bug just thought it was Okay, I do have some changes to this, but those are not really changes. That's just to help debugging. I could probably even not do that, but I won't because that's easier to debug that way for the next time this happens. There we go. So you already had the switch. Good, 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 good. Boom! Shit works better now. Let's check that in. Okay. Ah, there. Got two of those bugs fixed, one of these bugs fixed. And that's gonna be it for this stream. Sorry I missed some of y'all's chats here in the stream. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's cool. We've got at least like three things finished today. One stream, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching this video. And um, we'll catch you on the next video. See ya.